Fires kill more than 3,000 people in the United States each year. And if we're going to have to deal with these fires at home, in the office, in the shop, wherever, we have to know how to use a fire extinguisher. When you encounter a fire, you have to make a conscious decision. Is it worth me trying to put it out with a fire extinguisher? Should I just back out of there and call 911 and let the professionals take care of it? Every company is going to have someone in charge of checking these visually on a monthly basis. Every year you'll have them sent away to be checked by the professionals, but the monthly checks are pretty simple. Let's make sure that they're charged. Let's make sure all the parts are in place, that the hose is in good condition, that they're mounted in the right place. It's easy to lose track of one of these things if they get used. Make sure it gets put back, it gets recharged, because you never know when you're going to need to use one. If you happen upon a fire that is small enough for you to actually fight with one of these smaller fire extinguishers, all you have to remember is the acronym PASS. PASS helps us learn how to use this thing safely and not forget it when our mind is being preoccupied by the blaze. P is for pull, and we're going to pull the pin. The pin is here to make sure that this thing doesn't accidentally get discharged. It's really the only thing that's stopping these two levers from coming together and discharging the unit. When we pull the pin, make sure we're not squeezing together. We're just holding on the underside. It should be pretty easy to pull. It should have some sort of a tether on it or maybe a plastic band. Discard both of those things, and that's when we're going to go ahead and grab this nozzle and move on to our next letter. Grab this nozzle, and we're going to aim at the base of the fire. Stay a nice, safe distance away. And S is for squeeze. When we squeeze this handle, we'll discharge the unit. And the last thing we're going to do is sweep. We're going to sweep at the base of the fire and try to put out the flames from the bottom up. 